Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist. Today I want to share with you top shortcuts that every artist who uses 3ds Max should know and use. There are plenty of shortcuts you can use in 3ds Max, plus you can create your own set of hotkeys. However, today I am going to show you the top ones that you definitely should know, as they can really speed up your workflow. So let's start with the first set. Let me quickly create a box and convert it to editable poly. So in this panel, we have the selection option. Instead of clicking it here one by one, we can use numbers going from one to choose each of the selection type. In editable poly, for instance, one it will be vertex, two edge, three is a border, which I'll show you in a sec, as I need to delete the polygon first to be able to select it, four polygons, and lastly, element. Now, it works similarly in shapes as well. You just have less options, so one, two, and three. And I will show you that you can use it in meshes as well. Again, you can use the keys from one to five to choose a specific selection. I highly recommend to use it, especially if you're modeling a lot. It saves tons of time. I'm telling you, it's worth it. If you don't believe me, Test it by yourself and check your timer. Now I am using the F3 shortcut to turn on or off the wireframe preview. F4 highlights the edges of the object to the preview. These are pretty handy options and they should be the ones that you learn at the beginning when starting your journey with 3ds Max. These hotkeys help you move the objects in 3ds Max. So we have the move option on. To rotate, click E key on your keyboard. And to scale, use the R key. And W to move the object. Easy. By clicking T, I'm in the top view. The F key will take me to the front view. And finally, P key is a perspective view. Such a handy shortcut. Pretty easy. Click Z to zoom the selected objects. Another super straightforward option, but so helpful. I use it every time I open 3ds Max. Now, if you have a camera in the scene and you click C, it will take you to the camera view. Now, it's a tricky one because Ctrl plus C in Max is not a copy as usual. Now, be aware that this shortcut works in the perspective view. So basically, select the camera and use the shortcut. Here we go. If you use Ctrl plus C without selecting the camera, it will create a physical camera. So we need to be in editable poly and I use two key to go to the edge selection. Select edges, Ctrl plus Shift plus E and we have connection done. Select another edge and use Ctrl plus Shift plus C and we have a chamfer option on. Go to polys by clicking four and use Ctrl plus Shift plus B to turn on the bevel option. When we hold shift when moving, for instance, we copy the selected object. By using S, we can easily snap to the vertices, for instance. These shortcuts help a lot when you're working on a project and you want to select specific objects or simply you don't want to see them in the viewport. Let me show you. You can use Shift plus C shortcut if you don't want to have the cameras, for instance. 
or Shift plus L for lights. Similarly for geometry, Shift plus G and Shift plus S for hiding or showing shapes. If we, for example, have some objects selected, but for some reason we need to select all others, use Ctrl plus I hotkey. Ctrl plus A to select all, as usual in any software. Select object and use Ctrl plus V to copy it. It will be copied to the same position as an original object. It's also a super handy hotkey and I'm using it constantly to align objects to something. If you want to search for any object, you can use the H key. M key is a must when creating materials and you want to quickly open the material editor. This is handy if you want an object to be transparent. It's nice to know it as it helps working in a software lots of time. If you need to isolate anything, just select the objects you need and use the Alt plus Q shortcut. Pretty self-explanatory, so you can go back to the few viewports setup or maximize any viewport you want by selecting it and using the hotkey. If you need to change render settings, click F10 to easily access it and use Shift plus Q to start rendering. And the last one, click 8 key to access the environment panel. Ok, there are much more of them, so I encourage you to check them out. However, these ones are the must in my opinion if you want to optimize your workflow. If you would like to know how we optimize our workflow in 3ds Max, I'd like to encourage you to check out our optimization course. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!